a historic day, a defining moment in India's defense history, and a loud message to the world. India desires peace, but if challenged, Brahmos will respond. Today, we decode the story of a turning point, the moment when the first batch of Brahmos missiles built in Lucknow was officially handed over to the Indian Army. And this isn't just another delivery, it's the first flight of India's missile revolution under the banner of Atma Nirbhar Bharat, self-reliant India. Whenever the world talks about the fastest, most precise and deadliest cruise missiles, one name echoes louder than the rest, Brahmos. The name itself is symbolic, derived from the Brahmaputra River in India and Moscow River in Russia, representing the strategic and technological partnership between two great nations. But today, Brahmos is no longer just a joint project, it's a fully Indian powerhouse, a symbol of indigenous might. Speed, Mark III, over 3,700 km per hour, range beyond 450 km, accuracy, pinpoint precision within a few meters, impact, once fired, there's no escape. Brahmos doesn't just hit targets, it erases them, be it enemy bunkers, command centers, or moving targets. For Brahmos, it's game over in seconds. Now imagine this, the same Lucknow once known for its culture, art, and Nawabi charm is now the beating heart of India's defense manufacturing revolution. In Patgaon, Sarojini Nagar, stands the Brahmos Aerospace Integration and Testing Center, the crown jewel of the Uttar Pradesh Defense Industrial Corridor. Launched on May 11, 2025, this advanced unit delivered its first operational missile batch on October 18, 2025. In the presence of Defense Minister Rajnath Singh and Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, the handover wasn't just a ceremony, it was India's declaration of defense independence. This isn't some small workshop, it's one of the most sophisticated missile integration centers in the world. Here's what happens inside. Assembly line. Each Brahmos is built part by part, from propulsion engines to warheads, navigation systems, control modules, and launch canisters. Testing zone. Every component is tested for heat, vibration, shock, and precision, because even a 0.1 millimeter error could compromise national security. Quality control. At every stage, engineers measure perfection in micrometers. Failure here isn't an option. Integration. Chamber. Finally, the missile is assembled, tested, and approved for active deployment with the Indian Army. The first completed batch, now ready and delivered, is not just a shipment. It's a symbol of India's aerospace sovereignty. This Brahmos facility is more than a defense project. It's an economic engine transforming Uttar Pradesh into a global defense hub. Project cost, 300 plus crore, approx, 36 million US dollars. Employment, 5,000 plus direct and indirect jobs. Facility size, over 2,000 acres. Annual output, dozens of operational missiles. This isn't just a factory, it's a knowledge hub where high-tech engineers, aerospace designers, and defense technologists are redefining India's defense manufacturing ecosystem. Each technician and engineer working here is a soldier of innovation, contributing to India's emergence as a defense export powerhouse. Once upon a time, India was a major importer of defense equipment, but now that chapter is closing permanently. Today, India stands tall as a defense exporter, ready to supply its advanced systems, including Brahmos, to countries like Vietnam, the Philippines, and several African nations. The same India that once depended on Russia and France for missile systems is now designing, building, and selling them to the world. India has moved beyond protecting its borders. It's now shaping the stability of the global defense order. Now let's talk about what this means for India's neighbors, especially Pakistan and China. The launch of Brahmos missiles from Lucknow sends a message louder than any statement, a message of deterrence and dominance. Every key Pakistani base, air command, and critical facility now lies within Brahmos range. Remember March 2022, when a Brahmos missile accidentally crossed into Pakistani airspace? The world held its breath, and Pakistan could do nothing. That single incident revealed the fear factor. Now imagine, not by accident, but by intent. One accurate strike from Brahmos can change the entire tactical equation in seconds. That's the kind of strategic power India now holds.
Lucknow's new unit isn't limited to current versions. It's paving the way for next-generation missile systems, Brahmos NG, Next Generation, a smaller, lighter, faster variant, optimized for fighter jets like Su-30 MKI, Rafale and Tejas. Hypersonic Brahmos under development, this missile will exceed Mark 7, capable of operating from air, land and sea platforms. India is no longer just defending itself, it's innovating for the future of global warfare technology. Behind every missile is a story, and behind every story, there are heroes. The scientists and engineers of DRDO and Brahmos Aerospace work tirelessly to turn this dream into a precision-engineered reality. Every circuit, every weld, every line of code was crafted with passion and patriotism. Their motto sums it up perfectly. We don't build missiles to destroy. We build them to protect Brahmos isn't just a missile. It's the embodiment of India's Atmanirbhar Bharat vision, the belief that India can build anything it dreams of. The Make in India campaign is no longer a slogan, it's a battlefield reality. India now produces its own tanks, fighter jets and supersonic missiles. This is the new India, self-reliant, confident and unstoppable. October 18th, 2025. When that first batch of Brahmos missiles leaves Lucknow, it's not just steel and fuel that move, it's the confidence of a billion people taking flight. When those missiles are deployed across India's borders, every soldier will stand taller, knowing that they now hold their own Brahmastra. And every Indian will feel the same pride, that their nation is no longer dependent on anyone else for its safety. From the soil of Lucknow rises a new voice, the voice of power, pride and purpose, Jai Hind and Jai Brahmos. This is the story of a new India, once an importer, now an exporter, once defensive, now decisive, once dependent, now dominant. Brahmos isn't just a missile, it's the soul of India's self-reliant strength.